All right. <laughs> Welcome back to Mr. and Mrs. Staying. I'm Julia. And I'm Bobby. You have been keeping up with us recently. You may have seen our uh, little video about the Mustang and the road trip that we were supposed to go on across country. Um, but we're in Los Angeles still. We were supposed to take Bobby's Mustang back home to New York, uh, but we ran into a few dilemmas that have held us back. Um, so we're actually not going to be able to drive <laughs> the Mustang across country. Um, but you can check out that video if you haven't yet and just like get to see like what's been going on um, and hear about all of our drama right now. But it's all good. We're figuring it out. We decided to have some fun while we're still in LA. So today we're in a Z51 Chevrolet Corvette. <laughs> we're enjoying it this far. Yeah. 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 No, it's been great. We're gonna enjoy the rest of our day, you know, relax, enjoy the car. Um, we will get back with you guys at the end of our day and give you a little review about what we think about the Corvette and all the cool features it has. Um, so we'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Yeah, first stop is the beach. Yeah, gotta do beach. I need food, a tan. And yeah, all that good stuff. Yeah, and food, a little shopping later too, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. All right, catch you guys later. Terrible. Yeah, it is terrible. Okay, we're leaving. Okay. Yeah. We'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so we just got back from the beach. As you can see, we're gonna do a little cold start. A nice rental. Hi. Ready. Go ahead. think I like it a lot looks good on you. looks good on you yeah I like this color <laughs> <laughs> charcoal like slate gray We just so happened to park next to a nice street car. Hmm. All right, Corvette Z51 2016 060. 60. Oh, Bobby, Bobby. You got it. Woo. All right, so. We're done with our drive for the day. We're at a friend's house, and uh, before we go in, we wanted to show you guys the Corvette and uh, break down the rental for uh, for you guys and everything. So, what do you think I of loved um, it. the car? I loved it. Yeah. Yeah, babe. <laughs> you think it's worth renting a uh, 2016 Z51 for about uh, two hundred dollars for the day? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, I it's mean, a good drive too. Like it, the car handles so well. 
it's it's definitely different than a Mustang, obviously. Yeah, no, it's definitely different, but um, it definitely stands out, like just like all the lines, and it looks like a supercar. Yeah, it does. But it's just a Corvette. You know, there's a lot of cool features about the car that we found out while driving. You know, it has all these cool functional hood vents, which I love. Well, this is a fender vent. Okay. Well, <laughs> but the air goes through here and comes through here. That's probably what's rattling. I don't know. We heard like a weird rattling. rattling. I think it might be this exhaust tip that is slightly too close to this one. I mean, I could literally push it into it and it'll probably touch. I know, but... I love the quad exhaust though. Yeah. Now the back of this car looks amazing. <laughs> Those are two amazing pictures, right? Bobby. Well, I mean, I'm just being okay. honest. Not being inappropriate. No, look at this. Yeah. No. Look at this. So this is the Z51 package, so this is not a base Corvette. I believe that the Z51 has uh, Z06 accent parts, so that's why it has this rear diffuse, uh, rear spoiler. Um, and the other difference, I think, is a little bit of a front lip, which is not really there. So maybe that's not it. But it has this oh, cool yeah, front. I was say that. Show the camera. It has a nice camera in the front. Is this because of the, the hood design. Honestly. Yeah. When you're driving in this car how long this is no but it looks awesome when you're sitting in the driver's seat oh, yeah. right yeah show them the t-top yep okay i'm not really a convertible person like at all mainly because my hair just goes everywhere i'm just not about that life at all but, most um, girls are not <laughs> right okay but that you're not like most one, girls definitely. so you're gonna do it anyway yeah of course <laughs> but i like this at least because i still kind of feel like i'm in car yeah but do you have the key on yeah you? I got it there you go so if you open the trunk the, <laughs> the top of up. the car fits perfectly right here it slides and locks in so yeah and it's it light is. too like one person can hold this so if you're a chick with this car you'll be fine you just have to have long arms, but yeah. Yeah, which like, I have really long arms. Yeah, you can do it. Look at my wingspan. You got beautiful arms. Wingspan. I'm about to fly away. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's super nice. Yeah, it doesn't move around or anything. And you still have a decent amount of space to store whatever you need in there. You know, you can chuck it underneath there too, and it goes really deep. So that's nice. Yeah, road trip on this car, you can fit a lot of luggage. Yeah, so why don't you tell them, uh, what you feel about your first drive? Um, it felt really good. I mean, I, we took it on the highway and the only thing that kind of tripped me out is because we had the T-top, so the uh, rear view mirror is dimmed for the light. So it's honestly, it was pitch black when I was driving. So, and there were so many cars on the highway, I like couldn't see. And then the, uh, the blind spot is a little tricky. But yeah. with Corvettes, like, you know that yeah you know what you're getting yourself into look at these hips <laughs> and also these quarter windows do not do you don't see anything i don't even think I don't even... you can see anything through them no they're also really tinted it's literally like the glass is this big but the window's actually this big yeah yeah chevy does a really good job making windows that you can't see out of just like the camaros but um other than that this car drives amazing like yeah you, you feel glued to the road like you're yeah. on a track well first of all look at this stock wheel gap i can almost fit my fist in there but um that's probably part of the reason obviously why but even with this much wheel gap in the car this car feels so freaking low like when you step out with your foot <laughs> it's like crazy but the car drives like super good super smooth Really nice interior. Everything is pretty user friendly. I mean, it's kind of typical uh, Bluetooth setup. It connects really easily, but it lags a little bit, as you were saying, Again, right? Again, just like the Mustang system. Yeah. I don't get it. This baby has 460 horsepower. Yeah. Though, and how much so. does it weigh? I think it was like. It was 
3,000. It's about 3,300, 300, yeah, something like that. Lighter than the Mustang. Yeah, I mean, you can it's feel the good. difference for sure in the lightness yeah, of the very car. Very torquey, also. Yeah, way more torquey than a, <laughs> than a Mustang is, but probably just because it's lighter and it's an LS motor. The LS motor is known for being a little bit more torquey. It feels very light, the car. Yeah. When you're in it, you know, like, I feel like the Mustangs, like, you, it feels like a heavy car. Does that make sense? Totally. You know? I mean, it's not but the lightest it feels car. feels very light. Um, I, feel, I think it's got, like, sand in it. One of the cool things also is this two-channel ch <laughs> two uh, door that you have to use to open it. This uh, package comes with eight an eight-speed. Yes, it does. But it also comes with Bose speakers. Which I was not super impressed though. No. The yeah. And audio in. But it's solid. You know, it's not. I can't complain about it too much. Where's the hood button on this car? What is this? No. What is that? Don't know. To take off the door? What is this even know. for? It, it's like, leave it. I don't know what that is. So if you guys know what that is, I don't want to, it's red. <laughs> I'm like, leave it. If there's red on it. Does it take the door off or something? I don't know. You guys could maybe. <laughs> it's like an emergency button of some sort. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. This is sketching me out, but I want to, I want to pop the hood for you guys. Where I don't the... even see a button for it. I don't know. Okay, well, it was hard to find the hood release, but uh, it's right under here where it normally is, but it's kind of just tucked away down in here. So now it's up. And there it is. Functional vents. Corvette LS motor, very dusty, but it's nice. 6.2 liter. Looks like, oh, okay. Look at all the air that just comes through here. Just Heavy loves to give you their branding, all right? <laughs> Smack dab in the middle of the giant hood. <laughs> yeah. Such a sick car. So, you think it's, I think it's definitely worth to rent this car for the day. Absolutely. I think you'll have a lot of I'm fun. I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10. Just cause there's other driving. For the price too. Yeah, for the price for sure. This is like one of the best deals. All right. Well, why don't we do a little sound video for them? Let me start it up. Yeah, start that. Are you gonna keep that open? I'm gonna close it. Only one. All right, go ahead. Grab it. Very nice car. Uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what do you think of the sound of it? Yeah, the Mustangs definitely sound better, no. but for a stock car... This is more car, of a purr. More of a purr. And when you change the uh, car into different driving modes, like track or sport, you hear the difference of the exhaust sound. Like, it switches down. Yeah. Which is pretty sick. I like how responsive it is. 
Yeah, it also it has an active exhaust, so it's, there's flaps inside the system, which will open and close. And also a cool little thing, if you don't feel like spending a lot of money on gas and you just want the looks, you can literally put this car on eco mode and it will run on half of the engine, only on four cylinders. So you're basically driving like a cool looking Prius to save gas. <laughs> but uh, true, which is, especially hey, in California, that's good. If you wanted to do road trip, it ain't bad. There's plenty yeah, of room like for two. Yeah. Beautiful car, beautiful woman, what else you need? All right, so that'll do it for our day with the Corvette. Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, it was definitely worth the rental in my opinion. Oh yeah, for sure. No, we definitely had a lot of fun. There were just a couple things that we did realize when we were driving the vet for the day. I don't particularly feel super safe in it compared to the Mustang. Um, yeah, it feels like you're driving around in a sardine can. Yeah, but, uh, especially with how low it is to the ground and I don't know. There was just like something that kind of made me feel a little sketched out, but I mean, it's a beautiful car. It drives fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, definitely a different feel than a Mustang, of course. Yeah, no, it's a lot lighter yeah. than a Mustang, a lot lower, smaller. Yeah. It's still very wide though. Extremely wide. Well, because like, we went over like the blind spots, blind, blind, blind spots. spots, blind spots with you guys before. I think a good thing to have in the car if you wanted to ever get one was to definitely have the blind spot sensors in the car. Yeah. Because it's definitely not a comfort, comforting thing to look over your shoulder and try and check your blind spot because it's very difficult. Yeah. Um, so that's another thing and yeah I mean the car feels awesome to drive it's super smooth actually for a car like this and it's fast for the price you really can't beat it but it does not feel like a safe car to be in I wouldn't want to be in this car in an accident at all no but um, you know that's kind of to be expected in any kind of you know roadster two-seater sports car yeah um, I wouldn't really consider it a supercar just because of the price range, but honestly, I think it could definitely compete with most supercars. Yeah. And for the price, you like, like I said, you can't beat it. And uh, it's a great car. Yeah. If you have the money and you're in the market for a bet, it's definitely worth it. Yeah. And how fast? And it looks f sick. Yeah. Right. Like every single design feature, like, Chevy nailed yeah, this body style. And even at like a stock form, like yeah, this it's is super base. nice. And it goes zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. Like the yeah. second that you put your foot on the pedal, you just feel it. And it's so torquey, so you just get kicked back in your seat. Like it's, it's wild. Yeah, I mean, it literally feels like there's just an engine and a car. You yeah. Know? Like the, also the aerodynamics of the car is like, insane because it just the air flows right through it and it, you can feel the difference in that like yeah. the handling is way more improved for it and even the speed too it just glides right through yeah you know yeah let us know what you think of the corvette um i know that it's automatic but this automatic <laughs> transmission is like super fast so it's actually Crazy. really fun to drive still so thank you so much for watching and we'll be back with you soon to show you other cars that we get our hands on and uh, check our video like we mentioned earlier about our little madness with the Mustang here in LA uh, but when we get back to New York we have a bunch of other videos planned so hopefully it won't be as crazy thanks for watching right. guys thank you